Hey everybody, uh, <clears throat> so I think it was in my last vlog where I said that I had one more week of sanity, one more week when I wouldn't lose my mind and I'd have all my marbles and things would be fine before I entered pre-vacation crazy, okay? Um, I lied, I went straight into pre-trip crazy. Good news is it's mostly because I've been very, very busy. I attempted to film. I really wanted to film another just weekly vlog. And mm, um, I have footage, which I will show you. And it turns out it's not that bad, but I just, it's Thursday. And I realized, oh my God, I cannot make this a vlog. So I'm here this is my disclaimer. I have friends visiting. I have a friend who moved here. I have just so many moving parts. We're having a big, like, exciting thing going on. I'm helping Kurt with a lot of stuff. It was, ju it was just a little bit out of my control, but I wanted to get myself on camera because I'm going to get my hair cut and I just want to show you what's happening. But before we do that, I'm going to show you Monday. I'm gonna meet you back here for a little review of Tuesday and then I will, will actually be like on schedule okay I'll meet you back here in present day does that sound good Monday was actually really fun I went to this LP like a record bar where you have to pay an obscene amount of money for a drink but you get to stay there for as long as you want and listen to their pretty large library of LPs but I'll I'll tell you about it you can watch it yourself I had a very good time it was really nice see you Monday welcome to the vlog I love you guys. You are so patient and so kind, and I hope you're having a great day. Catch you later. <laughs>I would love to let you know about the sponsor of this video, which is Squarespace. Squarespace is a really wonderful place to host your online presence. I like using it as a blog space, not only because of their commenting features and how you can connect your social media accounts, but also their free templates that make making the website actually so easy. If you wanna use it for something else, they also have membership subscription feeds and email list features. They also have monetization features for if you are running a shop. If you want to test it out yourself right now for free, you can go to squarespace.com. But if you would like to launch your website to the public, you can go to squarespace.com slash carrycakes and get 10% off of your first website or domain. So thank you as always to Squarespace and let's get back to the music. cute was it worth 16 I'm not quite sure there was zero organization zero um, so that was difficult <laughs> but I ended up finding a couple things and um, yeah it was it was a good time so and it was quite busy like it was nice it was more like cute to see what kinds of people came in there for me um, but now we're going to hit a staple in Incidon um, this is a vegan restaurant and they have all kinds of Korean food. So because I don't, I eat fish, but because I don't eat meat, I have not ever had probably half of the Korean foods that are available. Um, but here I can actually try donkatsu. I can actually try bulgogi, but I haven't actually visited in about a million years. So I'm excited to take you. Let's go.
Okay, hi, welcome to Carrie's neighbor update. So we, you guys know, I've had issues with an upstairs neighbor before. And on, in that video, you guys left so many comments about what you think that noise was because it was a very strange and mysterious noise. I, trust me, I have thought of it. Every example you guys suggested, it's already been through my mind. It wasn't any of those things. It was to my dying day, I will wonder what, noises what caused that you know but i went up and spoke to her she from that day forward never made that noise again even though she denied that she made any noise i don't care about that she was very quiet it was great we lived in harmony for the rest of her time here and then she moved we had a brief upstairs neighbor who was just very normal noises they were so quiet that we didn't notice that they left until last Saturday so not this past Saturday but like a week and a few days ago all right almost two weeks now someone moved in starting at 9 p.m. their movers arrived at 9 p.m. I don't think it's a written rule but it's common courtesy that like after 10 p.m. if you're in a very obviously shared space you try to be a little quiet so I'm actually shocked that our security guard like our building management let them do that because they were like throwing furniture like it was loud and they rented you you can reserve like one of our elevators to help you move faster I was like okay like maybe the moving crew is just noisy because they want to get this done quickly that's fine no I've lived in many an apartment I've lived with many people many people who have different noise tolerances different schedules than me this was obscenely loud and he was most active from midnight to 1 a.m i'm at home the most so like even when i was just trying to read at home like he would just be thumping so we called our security guard it's again it's not like a written rule but it's advised that you don't speak face to face with your neighbors about complaints um because korea has absolutely honestly horrific like batshit insane harassment and defamation laws imagine if you were sexually assaulted and you accused the person who did it to you that person could then turn around and say that you were harassing them regardless of if it was true that they assaulted you or not you could be sued for harassment for simply pointing the finger okay people who use the harassment laws here 9 out of 10 POS, all right? So it's advised that you don't speak face-to-face -face with your neighbor in case they're crazy and they will sue you for harassment, okay? So we call our security guard and then our security guard calls him. Apparently that didn't go down well. Apparently he yelled at our security guard like he really disagreed with our complaint. It was about five days later, we called again because it was like, this is day five of us not sleeping well because of this guy. The security guard was literally like, guys, I don't wanna call him. <laughs> He's not gonna listen. And so I was thinking of pulling the old, 
let's go up and talk to them anyway kind of thing because it worked with my previous neighbor but after hearing that i was like oh shit okay maybe not like i don't want to be face to face with this guy so i penned a letter not perfect grammar for sure but i knew i was getting the point across and letters are pretty common in korea like don't be mad if you get a, a note on your door it's very common here and it's not as like passive aggressive as it can be in other countries it's simply because you don't really talk face to face with your neighbor right so no one's gonna knock on your door and talk to you they will leave a note it's nothing to freak out about right my tip for you if you're ever writing a letter about this particular thing is to stress that it's the building's fault it kind of is our building is not like noise should not travel the way that it travels in our building luckily now we are surrounded by quiet people spoiler fixed it we have extremely quiet neighbors now so it's totally fine and so i made it very clear that like i'm just letting you know because i know you moved in recently you might not even be aware that we can hear you this building is just not the best thank you for understanding just wanted to let you know all right monday i as you saw was out kind of late um and when i came home kurt was like you're not gonna guess who was here like five minutes ago and i guess he came down and he talked to kurt which is hilarious because my note i put like smiley faces i had like girly handwriting and i had horrible korean grammar and so for kurt to open the door like these two korean men to face each other like he clearly didn't write that note so um he came down and he apologized he was like no i'm so sorry the people above me are also driving me crazy so i'm so sorry that i caused you the pain that i'm feeling from the upstairs people peace on earth peace on earth and he's been quiet ever since then there's like a couple times i think he's clumsy so he drops things sometimes but like other than that gorgeous i just wanted to give you that update because i really thought that like it was affecting when i could film i had to stop talking and wait for him to stop walking around we're all good now and i just wanted to give you that update and i hope that you guys are surrounded by quiet neighbors or at least neighbors that are not scary so that was just wild and excellent and uh i'll see you on wednesday <laughs>
locked up, captured in a moment that you don't have now. You don't have now. You don't have now. And follow me to the sun. Hello, um, why is it so dark? Hello? Hi, so it's Friday and I went to a bakery, read a little bit, but now I just filmed a book video. I should be finally done um, with all the stuff I need to schedule for August. It is so hot today. I went out, luckily that bakery opens really early. I went out, I was walking home at 10 a.m. and I got a heat advisory. It was 35 degrees and just like so humid. So I'm gonna be inside for the rest of the day. But yeah, I'm just gonna edit this up and try and stay cool. And yeah, this is my, this is my hair. I know it doesn't look so different, but um, she did cut like multiple inches off. So it feels just so much lighter like so yeah i'm really happy with it i really like that salon they're really nice and i feel comfortable talking with them in korean for some reason like the way that they talk the questions that they ask um sarah and her assistants are always really cool so yeah that was very nice i also i don't know if i explained i did a i went in <laughs> I went into the dermatologist for a aqua peel. They they were having like a July sale on aqua peel and then like a cooling like cryotherapy thing. I was like, you know what? I haven't done anything like that in a while. Why don't I do that? It was like 30 bucks. Um, I was just not in like my strong sense of self. I don't know, but they were having a sale on this micro needling. Is it micro needling? or is it ultrasonic basically this like skin rejuvenating it's either ultrasound or micro needling because it felt like needles and so i was like yeah sure why not let's do that as well and so luckily i asked the woman right before she started i was like is that one gonna hurt i didn't even think about pain because i have an extremely high pain tolerance i'm fine with needles no big deal i've done micro needling before and she was like yeah it's gonna hurt and it did oh my god they didn't put any numbing cream on and i feel like normally they do but this was just because it was like needles in the fattiest part of my cheek i literally whimpered i literally was like <laughs> and i don't do that like i'm tough when it comes to that kind of thing my face though it does feel really nice actually like afterwards my skin feels really good i did like it it was called liftera and i did the like bigger one they have like a pen version and then like a bigger one for like these bigger areas uh, so did it hurt absolutely have you seen results no <laughs> they're gonna come later allegedly but yeah that's what i did yesterday and i was in a lot of pain so um anyway yeah i'm going to turn the air conditioner back on because i need to and i'm gonna edit so i'll catch you guys later Okay, happy Friday.
Hi, it's very difficult to speak because of the cicadas, so just know that we're heading to Milestone for breakfast. <laughs> I still believe I'll see you again. This was a very lovely week um, and I hope you enjoyed it even though it was a little crazy. Um, I'm just, I'm really grateful that I have a lot of people visiting right now. It's been a busy and hectic, but like very nice time. Um, so yeah, thank you for being along for the ride. Next week I will begin packing. And I asked you guys like what the weather was like in the UK right now. And I got a range from wear shorts and a tank top to bring winter coats. So. Um, the next video might be me being a little bit panicked, but so it goes. And yeah, I'm going to go back. Kurt and I were having just like a really chill weekend because it's so hot. We keep getting warnings about how hot it is. So it's 1020. I'm going to head inside right now. But um, thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring this. The info will be down below, but you can go to squarespace.com slash carrycakes to get 10% off of your first website or domain. Thank you as always. And um, yeah, I will, I will catch you guys. I'll see you when I see you. It's just so hot. I did take a shower though. And this is what's going on with my hair air dried, which is exciting. So anyway, okay. Um, I hope you guys are having a really great week. I hope you guys are staying safe and cool or warm, depending on where you are. And uh, I'm just, I'm so excited to go on my trips. Um, I'm gonna be with one of my best friends. It's just gonna be great. So, all right, um, I'm gonna go find my bus, get into air conditioning again. Yeah, we wait and see, but the chances are small just like the lottery.